Yo, what's up? Bradley Aiden Johnson, and this is my home gym. You know, it's I just got a pull-up station, easy curl bar, some dumbbells, plates, and a bench, and that's it. And when I started, I had even less than that. So, you know, you don't need much to get through. You don't need to join these massive gyms. I start with a warm-up for the rotator cuff. Um, you got to do this, or you're going to have horrible shoulder injuries. You've got to protect your shoulder at all costs, because you're going to be using it for practically every single thing. So uh, make sure you're, you're keeping it nice and loose before you start. Um, you'll notice my warm-up is still carrying on. This is the first exercise, which is always in my workouts, a heavy compound movement, such as incline bench press or squats or deadlift. Um, and I always continue the warm-up into the first exercise. So as you notice here, the weight is heavy, right? Or at least heavy for me. You can't warm up with a weak weight or you're not warming up, you're just moving your arms up and down or your legs back and forth. You've got to be something near your working weight for it to be a warm up. I'm saying like 60% for your first rep, maybe like, you know, 70 to 80% for your next, and then you move into your working weight. Otherwise, it's not a warm up. It's just um you move in the arm. Doing the going through the motions does not warm you up. All right, check this one out here. Uh this is my working weight. This is me actually starting. I uh, do 5 sets of incline bench and uh up to 10 reps each. Nice, that's heavy. Notice I don't hold it like a barbell, like I hold it with a slight incline. That brings more chest into the motion as you drive through the center of your body rather than your shoulder if you flare out your arms. Notice how I, when I'm pushing up, I don't, actually, well, we'll see in a second. Put them down. Be careful. Protect your shoulder. Uh, actually, watch here as I pick them up. You'll see the technique. Lift with the knees back straight, put them onto the edge of the knees and kick them back into position and lower yourself in a controlled way. That's the safe way to get into the bench press position. All right, notice I go down, not too deep. Don't want to hurt my shoulders. And when I go up, I go up all the way to get all the tricep into that motion, but I don't stress my elbows because you're not working out our bones and our joints here. We're working out our muscles. So we keep the tension on the muscle when we're doing them. It's a good set there. Yeah, okay. Let's look at this. This is me going a little bit too heavy. Uh, this is 36 and a half kilos per hand. Ouch. Okay, you watch me struggle. Watch me struggle on these. Go on, you got it. I got quite a few reps out of that though, man. So at least, at least I can say I did it. At least it was beneficial. It wasn't going crazy heavy, like only one or two reps. I was still representing exercise at least. Yeah. That's what you call going to failure. You got another one? Can't fully extend. Watch the triceps quiver. Okay, back it down. Back down. Uh, should be on to the next exercise now, which is incline arm curls. Mm, love this exercise. Uh, similar getting in the way into position. Notice the way I go down and up. I don't go all the way up to the shoulder and I don't go all the way down to the joint. I keep the tension on the bicep. Remember, we're working out the bicep here. Once you go too high, you're not working the muscle anymore. Really, you're resting. And if you go too low and you start resting the joint, you're hurting yourself and you're resting and not working the muscle. So, you know, avoid doing that. Even though I'm putting a bit of weight on in my bulk, notice I still got a little bit of a vascularity going on then in the arms. I'm, I'm glad I'm retaining some of that. And this is a uh, this is a set to failure here. I do four sets of these. The first two sets to ten, second two to failure. Yeah, I see it in the face. You're about to see what going to failure looks like. Yeah, do you have one more? You got one more? I don't think he does. Let's see. Oh, that's that. That's that failure set. And he tries again, but he knows he ain't got it. Yeah, put him down. I don't got those. Next exercise is the most famous and popular gym exercise. Of course, it is the flat bench press. I, of course, use dumbbells, not barbells when I'm doing mine. Similar technique for the incline to get these into position. Pull the knees, stretch out a little bit, kick them up, control yourself down, and bang. Notice again with the form, not all the way up. Let's see that again. Stand up with the knees, rest them on the edge of the knees. Kick them into position. Go on, kick them. One, two. <clears throat> All right, we're in position. Excellent. Up. Up. 
Yeah, that's good. That's good form. What you're about to see here, this is where part chest pump and part know how you're, you're working the muscle, right? Look at those hills on my, look, if I took a picture there, it would look like I'd had surgery on my chest to give myself some boobs. Look at that right there. I might take a picture of that. That's how you know you're working your chest. Those hills right there as it flexes to push that weight up, working that muscle. Some hammer curls here. I do four sets of these. Notice it's like there's a pin going through my elbow and my waist, connecting them to my waist, making sure that I don't raise my elbow and bring too much shoulder into it. It's good form on these. Vascularity on my arms. I'm loving that because I really want some arm <clears throat> mass to grow there. Good say. I did four of those. And then after that, move straight into cross bench pullovers. Now, this exercise is kind of complicated. You've got to make sure that you are, you know, your mind muscle connection is there so that you're hitting where you want it to hit. I do these on chest day and they really, and I really get them to focus on uh, my chest as opposed to my, your lats, which they can work and your triceps, which they can work. It's a compound movement. It works your chest. It works your traps, your traps, your lats, and it works your uh, triceps. But I focus on pulling it straight through my chest muscles, every rep, straight through my chest muscles. You can maybe even just about make out in the video that my chest is doing most of the work but the triceps are there as well, and you do feel it in your lats. Also, I have, after a while of doing this, perfected a method for putting the weight down, uh, you see that behind me, and for getting it into position. Notice, I alternate, because I do four sets of these, I alternate sides on the bench. That's why I put the bench in the middle of the room. That way, I put the bench down and go to the other side, pick them straight up, and slide myself down into position. Took a while to get that that technique for getting them into position because it's difficult when these get heavy to get into that position for the weight, for the exercise, sorry. But I think I've probably just about perfected that now. Yeah, go on. Push, excellent. This is a really good exercise for the chest. I don't think I've got another set. Okay, that's what you call failure. All right, some preacher curls. I do them arm by arm. The main reason I do them arm by arm is I don't really have the facilities to do them both arms at the same time. Otherwise, I would probably use the easy curl bar and do them both arms at the same time, but I can't. So um, I do them one at a time. It's good to isolate each arm and really work each, each bicep muscle right at the end. This is the last bicep movement that I do. It, um, it helps with the symmetry by training them individually, make sure they both grow and you're not uh, using the other one to carry the other muscle because if your right arm's a bit better it will kind of help your left arm out notice i went up a little bit in weight i do four sets of these it's 10 reps on my chest and bicep day everything's to 10 reps uh, except the final uh burnout sets so i do 10 10 reps on each arm and then the last two sets of the four i go to failure oh, you got that and this is what failure looks like on the other side. Go. You know when you can't do anymore and your arm wants to lift, but it's just not got the ability to. There it is. Okay. And I close up the session with some wide grip push-ups. I do them wide grip to get the outside of the chest because on tricep day, I do close grip push-ups at the end of the session to really get the triceps. And that also helps with the center part of the chest. So I do these wide grips on this day. And I do four sets of these. Each set I go to failure, which I don't I only do that on body weight exercises. I only go to failure on every set on a body weight exercise. So I'll do as many as I can, then as many as I can, as many as I can, as many as I can. Keep your back straight, etc., etc. I don't go too far down and too far up because with the wide grips, it'll hurt your wrists to go too far down and too far up because it's not really a natural place to hold yourself for a push up. You know, it's the grips a little bit wider than regular for a normal push-up but I'm pretty happy with my form on these there's no arching of my bum to help it's all coming from the chest and it's the perfect way to finish a chest workout really kill those last muscle fibers oh has he got another one and that's how you kill that's how you die a little bit of flexing crazy zoom at the start <laughs> that goes a little bit too close on my chest blame the cameraman but um 
yeah, I'm looking at this as like a start point for 2013. I'm pretty happy with where I'm starting from. I still got some chest and shoulder striations and my back's looking not too bad, but I'm definitely going to be putting on a whole heap of mass for the coming year. Look, I've got a little bit of back width, but I look at this as a starting point for this year. I'm obviously, I put on a little bit of fat since my leanest, if you see the start of the video in the intro, but you know, I'm still semi cut up. I look all right, but yeah, I'm going to be getting a hell of a lot bigger than this this year. And this is the first time I pose for camera as well, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs>